guys welcome back so i'm gonna show you all how i make my mom's delicious cornbread as well as my famous chili now you're gonna go ahead and need three packets of the sweetened pioneer cornbread mix as well as half and half and three eggs i'll have all the measurements listed down below because i can't remember them at the top of my head but you will need a cup of oil as well. Make sure your eggs and your half and half are at room temperature. That's very important. I don't know why, but my mama said so. So I do what she says. <laughs> then I'm gonna go ahead and take my spooky loaf pan, of course. Even the food needs to be spooky in my home. And I'm going to butter it with some butter flavored cooking spray. And I'm going to Pour everything in. I honestly thought this low pan was going to be a little too small, but it was actually the perfect size. You're going to preheat your oven to 350. And you're going to go ahead and put your cornbread in for 50 to 55 minutes. There we go. Now moving on to the chili. So I don't make chili how you normally make it. <laughs> My source of protein is sausage, garbanzo beans, and peppers. Those are the three main ingredients I use for my chili, as well as a shit ton of beans that I add. But here I'm just decoring all the peppers and I'm just cutting them into little circles. Um, I don't add any ground beef or ground turkey like you're supposed to. I don't add any tomato either. Like I said, this chili is... It started off as vegetarian chili and then one day I had sausage and I was like, you know what? Let's let's add some fucking sausage. It's gonna taste bomb. Bitch, when I tell you it tasted bomb, I'm not lying. So I added two packs of sausages, cut them all in half, then cut those pieces in half and then cut them into circles. Well, they're like little half moons after cutting them in half so many times. And then I used one whole bag of sweet mini peppers. Now that we have everything cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and add the peppers to my pot first because I want them to get really soft. And I'm gonna have them just on medium to high heat. And I'm not gonna season them just yet until we add the sausage. These are all the beans that I use. So feel free to use any type of beans that you want. Um, the only, I, um, I what? What was I saying? What was I gonna say? My goodness, I can never do a voiceover right. <laughs> But here, never mind that. <laughs> here I'm adding the sausage and I'm mixing everything together. It was actually really hard for me to do that while filming, not gonna lie. Then I'm gonna add some garlic powder. I just eyeball everything. I really don't have measurements. And then I added some onion powder. You know you're Hispanic when you just eyeball everything. And that's the last of my onion powder. Very sad. <laughs> added some ground paprika love that it's a staple in this house and of course your chili powder it's not chili without chili powder and I'm gonna mix all of that and I like for my sausage to get a little crispy I love it when it's nice and crispy on the outside and then our peppers are nice and soft I'm taking my cornbread out here I had just oh here I'm gonna test it and it came out bomb when the fork comes out clean you know it's ready to be taken out and it's a little coffin oh my goodness how cute so I'm gonna go ahead and drain my kidney beans then I'm getting the mixed chili beans which has kidney beans black beans pinto beans with chili sauce I don't drain these I actually include the chili sauce as well you can see how thick they really are. But that helps this chili a lot. Because chili is supposed to be semi-water. Well, not watery because it's not soup. 
but it's not supposed to be just chunky either. So I add that. And I add some black beans. I love black beans. I could eat them with everything. They're so good. Then I'm adding what's left of my vegetable broth, which was about two cups, I want to say. If I have to guess, it was about two cups left in there. And I just have that on a low to medium heat, and I'm just letting all the flavors just mix together. Now I'm adding some butter all over my cornbread, because you want to keep it moist. And for those of you who don't like that word, grow up. It is just a word. You can see my little skeleton outline is so cute. Here I'm adding my garbanzo beans. And now it's time to plate it up. Adding a big spoonful, a big, well, a couple big spoonfuls of this delicious chili and some chipotle Tabasco, which is my favorite hot sauce ever. Some Fiesta Blend cheese. You can use any cheese you want, but this is the only cheese I have at the moment. And it's my favorite shredded cheese. I'm going to mix everything together. That way the cheese melts. And this is my favorite Mexican crema. Oh my God, it's so good. You can use sour cream if you want to, but if you're sleeping on this crema, you shouldn't be. It is so good and has such good flavor. And that's it, you guys. That's my famous chili and my mother's delicious cornbread. If you guys love the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and join my ghoul gang if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!